irrational numbers ir means not so irrational means not rational numbers definition irrational numbers are the set of real numbers that cannot be expressed in the form of a fraction that is p by q where p and q are integers the denominator q is not equal to 0 also the decimal expansion of an irrational number is neither terminating nor recurring or not repeating patterns there is no finite number of numbers when written as a decimal instead the numbers in the decimal would go on forever without repeating examples of irrational numbers first example pi pi is a famous irrational number the ratio of circumference of a circle to its diameter pi is equal to 3.14159265 and so on the decimal value never stops at any point there are infinitely many digits after the decimal point however these digits exhibit non terminating and non repeating pattern since the value of pi is closer to the fraction 22 by 7 we take the value of pi as 22 by 7 or 3.14 note 22 by 7 is a rational number example 2 square root of 2 the square root of 2 is an irrational number meaning its decimal equivalent goes on forever without repeating pattern square root of 2 is equal to 1.414213562373309 and so on square root of 3 is also irrational because square root of 3 is 1.7320508080 and so on there are infinitely many digits after the decimal point however these digits exhibit non terminating and non recurring or a repeating pattern square root of a number which is not a perfect square are irrational numbers for example square root of 2 square root of 3 square root of 5 square root of 6 square root of 7 square root of 8 square root of 10 square root of 11 and so on perfect square is square root of 4 square root of 4 is not an irrational number because square root of 4 is 2 similarly square root of 9 is 3 square root of 16 is 4 and square root of 25 is 5 these type of perfect square numbers are not irrational numbers these type of numbers are rational numbers. Square roots of prime numbers are irrational numbers. For example, square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 5, square root of 7, square root of 11, square root of 13, square root of 17, square root of 19 and so on. Cube root of a number which is not a perfect cube is an irrational number. For example, cube root of 2, cube root of 3, cube root of 4, cube root of 5, cube root of 6, cube root of 7, cube root of 9 and so on. Perfect cube is cube root of 8. This is not irrational because cube root of 8 is 2 cube root of 27 is 3 and cube root of 64 is 4 these are perfect cubes these type of perfect cube numbers are not irrational numbers these numbers are rational numbers irrational numbers include the square root cube root fourth root and nth root of many numbers one more example Euler's number e e is an irrational number e is equal to 
एट टू एट वन एंड सो वन ई दी मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट नंबर इन कैलकुलस वन मोर एग्जाम्पल गोल्डन रेशियो फै फै इज ईक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स वन एट जीरो थ्री थ्री एंड सो वन दि गोलन रेशियो इज एंड इेशनल नंबर फाउंड इन मेनी फील्डस लाइक कंप्यूटर सैंस डिजाइन आर्ट आर्किटेक्चर एक्सेट्रा representation of irrational numbers on the number line now we will see the representation of irrational numbers on the number line to have a better understanding of the concept let's take an example of representation of square root of 2 on the number line first we will draw a line and mark the center point as 0 let us mark right side of 0 as 1 and the left side as Minus one. Before going further, let us understand a simple concept of Pythagoras theorem, because we are going to use this theorem in this concept. What is Pythagoras theorem? The Pythagoras theorem states that if a triangle is right-angled or ninety degrees, then the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. In the given triangle ABC, here BC is the base, AB is the altitude or the height, and AC is the hypotenuse. We have AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Here AC is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. This is the Pythagoras theorem. Well, now see here in our number line. Let us take one unit along the positive axis, that is zero to one, C to B. At one, let us draw one unit vertically up, that is B to A. Now let us join point A and C. A right angle triangle is constructed. Now we have a triangle ABC such that AB is the height which is perpendicular to BC. BC is the base of the triangle, and AC is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle ABC. Now length of the hypotenuse, that is AC, can be found by applying the Pythagoras theorem to the triangle ABC. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square implies AC square is equal to one square plus one square implies AC square is equal to two. Therefore, AC is equal to square root of two. Now, with AC as radius and C as the center, cut an arc or you can draw a circle on the same number line with the help of a compass. and name the point as d ac is the radius of the arc and hence cd will also be the radius of the arc whose length is square root of 2 so length or radius of ac is square root of 2 and radius or length of cd is square root of 2 in the same way on the left side of 0 we will have a point on the number line whose value is equal to negative square root of 2 from here to here this is also same distance this is also radius of the circle similarly from here to here and here to here so many radius are there okay hence d is the representation of square root of 2 on the number line represent square root of 3 on the number line step 1 we need to construct a line which is perpendicular to line ac from point a such that this new line has unit length and let's name the new line as ae step 2 now join c and e the length of line ce could be found out by using pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle EAC so 
ए सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए ई स्क्वायर प्लस ए सी स्क्वायर इम्प्लाइज ई सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वन स्क्वायर प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू स्क्वायर इम्प्लाइज ई सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस टू देर फोर ई सी इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री सो द लेंथ ऑफ ई सी लाइन इज फाउंड टू बी स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री यूनिट्स स्टेप थ्री नाउ विथ सी एस सेंटर एंड ई सी एस द रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल कट एन आर्क ऑन द नंबर लाइन एंड मार्क द पॉइंट एस एफ यूजिंग द कंपस सिंस सी ई इज द रेडियस ऑफ द आर्क एंड सी एफ विल ऑल्सो बी द रेडियस ऑफ द आर्क एंड विल हैव द सेम लेंथ एज दैट ऑफ सी ई सो सी एफ इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री यूनिट्स Hence, f will represent square root of three on the number line. Likewise, we can easily represent so many square roots of numbers on the number line, like square root of five, square root of six, square root of seven, square root of eight, square root of nine, square root of ten, and so on. It is called spiral method. Let us see same in the diagram. Spiral method. First, we will draw a number line and mark the center point as zero and name the point as O. Step one: Take a point O and draw OA of unit length. Step two: Draw AB of unit length perpendicular to OA. Join OB, that is square root of two. Take O as center and OB as the radius. Cut an arc on the number line by using the compass, and mark the point as M. This is also square root of two. Step three: Draw BC of unit length perpendicular to OB. Join OC, that is square root of three. By using compass, mark on the number line, we will get square root of three. Step four: Draw CD of unit length perpendicular to OC. Join OD, that is square root of four. Step five: Draw DE of unit length perpendicular to OD. Join OE, that is square root of five. Step six: Draw EF of unit length perpendicular to OE. Join OF, that is square root of six. Step seven: Draw FG of unit length perpendicular to OF. Join OG. That is square root of seven. By using above method, we can get square root of three, square root of four, square root of five, square root of six, square root of seven on the number line. In this way, we can draw so many square root of numbers on the number line. Do you know how to represent two plus square root of two? You already know how to represent square root of two. on the number line mark that point on the number line now take the length of that using the compass we have to add this length to number 2 to get 2 plus square root of 2 now move to number 2 keeping that as the starting point mark that length on the right side of number 2 that point represents 2 plus square root of 2 on the number line similarly for 2 minus square root of 2 we have to mark the same length on the left side of number 2 from here to here this point represents 2 minus square root of 2 on the number line represent square root of 9.3 on the number line by using semicircle method Step one: Draw a line and mark point A. Step two: Mark a point B such that AB is equal to nine point three. Step three: From B at unit distance, consider a point C on the number line. Step four: Identify the midpoint of AC and mark it as O. Step five: With AO as radius and O as the center. Draw a semicircle. Step six. Now draw a perpendicular at B. It cuts a semicircle at a point. 
this distance BD is equal to square root of 9.3. How BD is square root of 9.3? I will tell you. AB is equal to 9.3. BC is equal to 1. AC is equal to AB plus BC is equal to 9.3 plus 1 is equal to 10.3. AO is equal to OC is equal to 10.3 by 2. OD square is equal to OB square plus BD square by using Pythagoras theorem. OD is equal to 10.3 by 2. OB is equal to OC minus BC is equal to 10.3 by 2 minus 1 is equal to 10.3 minus 2 by 2 is equal to 8.3 by 2. Therefore, BD is equal to square root of OD square minus OB square is equal to square root of 10 minus 3 by 2 whole square minus 8.3 by 2 whole square. Now here we will apply identity of A square minus B square is equal to A plus B into A minus B square root of 10.3 by 2 plus 8.3 by 2 into 10.3 by 2 minus 8.3 by 2 is equal to square root of 18.6 by 2 into 2 by 2. Here 2 by 2 are cancelled. So square root of 18.6 by 2 is equal to square root of 9.3. So 9.3 is the answer. Without mathematics there is nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Thanks for watching.